Tonight, Philadelphia police investigating the attack of a transgender woman. I'm Jason Martinez. Here at 11 o'clock, this attack included a shooting that left her sister and a friend injured. All three victims are expected to be okay. Our Kelly Rule has the latest details. Police tell me the violence unfolded after the attacker and the victims left a speakeasy in Kensington. It may be investigated as a hate crime and police are now combing through surveillance video to try to identify the person responsible. It was after a gathering Saturday night into Sunday at a speakeasy in Kensington. Philadelphia police say a man brutally beat and pistol whipped a transgender woman and shot her sister and friend who tried to intervene. She informed the police that um, this person was saying, um, uh, saying very ignorant words to her and that she absolutely believes it was because of how she appeared, her identity, how she was dressed. Those are the kinds of facts that are very important in determining whether or not the intent of the crime was based upon hate or animus. Philly transgender advocate Deja Lynn Alvarez says the woman had surgery yesterday and was able to interview with police Monday. Police say the 17-year-old with her suffered a graze wound to the back of the head and a 22-year-old woman was shot in the arm. It happened around 4.30 in the morning Sunday near Rose Hill and East Westmoreland streets and may be investigated as a hate crime. Currently, Pennsylvania hate crime law does not protect people who experience violence based on their gender identity or sexual orientation. And what most people don't realize is that this is what we live with every single day. We have to be careful about where we go, what restaurant we go to, what bar we go to. This man, who identifies with the LGBT community, asked that we keep him anonymous. We gotta protect ourselves. We gotta go in numbers. We gotta stick in groups. You know, if something feels weird, it is weird. Get out of here. Mayor Jim Kenney also commented on the incident on Twitter, saying in part, any acts of hate or intolerance are unacceptable and will not be tolerated in Philadelphia. In Old City, I'm Kelly Rule, Fox 29 News.